Authorities across the tri-state have a warning for car owners. They say catalytic converter thefts are getting out of control. The thieves travel from town to town in the cover of darkness and can cut the converters out in just minutes. Richard Giacobas tells us what makes them so valuable on the black market. Thieves have always targeted parked cars with the hopes of getting in one that's unlocked, starting it, and driving away. But a crime trend on Long Island, which first began a year ago, has popped up again. It involves the theft of catalytic converters, a giant piece of metal placed along the exhaust system that filters hazardous gases from the engine. Three Philadelphia men were charged with stealing the catalytic converters off of cars in Long Beach this week. They want the valuable metals inside the converters, including platinum, palladium, and rhodium. Bad economy, people are out of work. They're, they're looking to make money in some way, shape, or form. So why catalytic converters? Well, each of those metals can sell on the black market for thousands of dollars. In fact, Russia produces 40% of the world's palladium metals. Since Russia's invasion of Ukraine, the price of palladium hit a seven-month high of $3,000 per ounce over supply shortage concerns. If it's a higher vehicle like a pickup truck, or an SUV, that makes it much easier. They just crawl under. Those thieves on Long Island apparently used a jack to lift up the cars. If they were changing a tire, they then crawled underneath and unscrewed that converter using a power drill. And just to show you how easy it is to access one of those, this is a mid-sized SUV. We're going to crouch down and show you. Look all the way back there. That's it. And once it's stolen, the cost of repair is way more than you'd think. AAA spokesman Robert Sinclair fears catalytic converters will only become more desired as long as the price of some of those metals continues to soar. Advice for car owners, try to hide your car, avoid parking on a street, and maybe put it in a garage. At least for now. Richard Giacobas, Fox 5 News.